Good morning and welcome to this morning's devotions. It is Saturday, June 26th. This morning I'm reading again from You Are the Beloved by Henri Nguyen. This one is entitled The Burden of Judgment. Hmm. Imagine having no need at all to judge anybody. Imagine having no desire to decide whether someone is a good or bad person. Imagine being completely free from the feeling that you have to make up your mind about the morality of someone's behavior. Imagine that you could say, I am judging no one. Imagine, wouldn't that be true? Wouldn't that be true inner freedom? But we can only let go of the heavy burden of judging others when we don't mind carrying the light burden of being judged. Can we free ourselves from the need to judge others? Yes, by claiming for ourselves the truth that we are the beloved daughters and sons of God. As long as we continue to live as if we are what we do, what we have, and what other people think about us, we will remain filled with judgments, opinions, evaluations, and condemnations. We will remain addicted to the need to put people and things in their right place. To the degree that we embrace the truth, their identity, that our identity is not rooted in our success, power, or popularity, we can let go of our need to judge. Do not judge and you will not be judged because the judgments you give are the judgments you will get. A quote from Matthew 7, verse 1. Judging others? Yeah, yeah, it comes pretty naturally, doesn't it? Um, you know, and I think about this, and I, and I wonder, uh, you know, being a, being a parent, judging someone else in some respects, you know, if, if my daughter, I'm going to go stay overnight at so-and-so's place, you know, then I've got to judge whether they're good parents. I have to judge whether the people will treat her right, treat her well. And there is some of that. I just can't go blindly and say, yep, I'm sure they're whatever person, good or bad, I'm not going to judge, send them wherever she needs to go. Or a crowd. You gotta judge whether it's gonna be questionable or not. Sorry. Just the way it is. As part of the human part of me. Uh, I can't get away from that and for her safety or for the safety of others. In other instances, um, it, it's easier not to throw judgment on because they have nothing to do with me. Um, also as I'm getting older too, I'm I'm learning there's more behind the story than meets the eye. Of course. Why? Why is a certain person acting a certain way? What's going on with them or what has happened to them to make them, oh, I don't know, if it makes them do hurtful things, if they say hurtful things, if they're trouble, um, what's going on? What is going on? Um, and that, that helps not to judge so much <clears throat> because I have things going on in my life too. <clears throat> Hurts, pains things that, that don't get resolved, that kind of fester and come out wrong. Um, I do care what other people think. Uh, I do care about what I do and what I do and, and, and all those kinds of things. But he's pointing us back to say that we're sons and daughters of God. and You know, even to judge ourselves is, is something that, that um, he's... Matthew is telling us is not helpful. It's not helpful for us as children of God to realize our our our, our place, our family with God, our our um, connection with each other through God. It's a developing process, um, but it's worth taking. It's worth thinking twice before saying something thinking twice before making a judgment call on someone else or their behavior because we don't know what's going on. We can more or less control our actions and our thoughts to an extent, but not other people's. And so give them what they need, give people what they need. Um, but be secure in the fact that, that you know that God is, is with us and that God has always been with us. The Holy Spirit is with us. Um, to help us to be um, 
enveloping us in God's love and mercy and forgiveness, both for others and for ourselves. And that uh, judgment comes harsh and allowing Christ, allowing the Spirit to hone that down and, and rough, uh, round out the rough edges and help us to become more at peace in ourselves. Um, let us pray. Gracious and loving God, we thank you for your Son. Help us to curb our judgments about others, about ourselves, to understand what people go through, but also understand that we are your children and you do love us and you never abandon us. And you always forgive us and show us mercy and love and kindness. Help us to live into that. In your name we pray. Amen. Well, tonight is a uh, 5 o'clock Holden evening prayer service. Tomorrow night, tomorrow morning at 9, we have a regular service. So I hope to see you then. Peace.